right there is no discussion of peace there's no discussion of uh, you know war or politics or family without first securing access and consistent safe access uh, to clean water Bunda Shams is a global water charity that was started in 2014 um as its founder the first project we did was in my ancestral village in jur uh, chakwal pakistan since then we've provided upwards of 50 million cups of clean water across pakistan uh, south sudan uh, rohingya refugee camps in bangladesh afghanistan where i personally travels in april to deliver six of our uh, projects um and yemen At the age of seven, while visiting my ancestral village, I, con- um, I contracted a waterborne disease um, and fell ill uh, while attending my grandmother's funeral. Um, and at the time, you know, I was too young to have too much of a formative experience in the back of it. But it's a it's an experience that stayed with me. An experience I thought about uh, 15 years later as a student at Williams College, um, when you know, and I had an opportunity. to pick up a cause and a passion with which i could channel my resources and the newfound privilege as a student at an elite university to help people back home i didn't want to forget my background i didn't want to forget my community so we we set up bunda shams as a way to tackle the most fundamental um human needs i mean unique technology what we're calling the solar water box If you look at its features you will start seeing how we got to the final design. It's got wheels so that it's transportable. It can be transported to last mile communities quite easily. It comes in a metal container so that it can be robust and can withstand, you know, floods and rain and all sorts of natural disasters and often times in place like Yemen even worth it. It is able to draw water from multiple sources of so boreholes and flood water and surface water is often the case in places like Sin. Um it filters the water using two pieces of technology ultra filtration and exchange so that you get clear drink drinkable uh, safe water at the back of it. It's got storage so you can store the water for overnight use and finally it actually does data monitoring as well. So while sitting in our headquarters we can you know have a good firm view on the condition of our various boxes where they might be hence we're taking a very data driven a methodical approach to solving all the different pieces that one comes across in a crisis people on the ground to sort of help us navigate through these issues so for example in sin um we were able to work with our sort of local collaborators um and contacts to actually figure out uh which um you know locations um would most benefit you know whether it was flood water or for example where uh we could place um our units in relief camps where obviously people have been displaced um in addition to that um we've also had a surge of nominations so um we have um a nomination page on our website where people can actually write in and nominate their local community for a water project So just to talk about impact right so there's really two things here so there's a sort of the immediate impact that we're we're able to make which is obviously um emergency relief for the flood victims making sure they have access to clean water each box um incredibly is able to filter 10,000 liters of clean water every day so that's enough for a community of 5,000 people I and mean, often you know the communities a little smaller in number so that's more than enough water to access and that's every day right but then obviously one of the other unique things about this is beyond emergency relief you know and shall when the flood water does subside um we then you know hope to relocate those um units to sort of nearby communities where then you know that community can actually benefit from that box for you know 20 to 25 years